Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the Motorola Moto Lux, Motorola's latest mid-range Android handset. So this is a UK spec device and this is the official retail packaging. As you can see, we've got uh, GSM and 3G on the 920-100 MHz frequencies. Some of the features, we've got a 9.8mm thickness, a 4 inch display, 8 megapixel camera and a lanyard slot for uh, connecting this device to a lanyard. So without further ado, let's open up the box. And there is the Motorola Motolux. We'll come back to that in a moment. We remove the inner packaging. We've then got a three pin UK mains adapter with USB port for connecting to this. Supplied USB cable with micro USB connectivity. Connect that into the mains charger to charge the device or connect this to the computer for connecting the Motorola Motolux to that. We then have the battery which has a 13 and 90 milliamp hour capacity so 1390 milliamp hours. We then have the back cover to the device this is a metal back cover as you can see there so it's uh, nice and solid and uh, not plastic like a lot of other phones on the market. The back panel is then coated to have a soft touch to it. We've then got a set of in-ear headphones with inline control and uh, a gold 3.5mm jack so for listening to your music or taking calls. And finally, we've got a uh, little manual printed up in colour to uh, start you uh, on your journey with the Motorola Moto Lux. Some quick bits of information. So, if we come back in and take a look at the device itself. So on the front here we've got a 4 inch touchscreen display, it's got a 480 by 854 resolution. We've got a front facing video camera for voice calls and that's at 0.3 megapixels. At the bottom we've got touch sensitive buttons for navigating around the Android operating system so we've got menu, home, back and search. We've got the Motorola branding here. We've got a microphone. We then have here the lanyard strap, so you'll see on the back there there's a hole through which you can feed the lanyard. And you can't see it here, but there is actually a light inside which illuminates when charging, connects to the computer, um, and it adds a really different effect rather than the light on the top or the side. It looks quite nice down there, it's, it's a little bit different. On the side of the device we've got the micro USB port for uh, charging or data connectivity with a computer. On the top we've got the 3.5mm headphone jack. We then have the power button. On the other side we then have a volume up and down key and we have a dedicated camera key. So that controls the 8 megapixel camera which if we turn over we can see on the back here. So there is the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. You then have the battery compartment here. You've got a standard SIM card slot, so not micro SIM. You do also have a micro SD card slot, just there. And it comes supplied with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card in the box. If we close that up. So then we have the 1390 milliamp hour 
battery. So this is a mid-range Android handset. It's running Android 2.3.7. So you're going to get a very standard Android feel, but Motorola have made some customizations on the device. It has an 800 megahertz processor, so it's not the fastest processor we've seen on a smartphone, uh, but it's not the slowest either. You've got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, we've got the 3G connectivity as we've mentioned before. You've actually got Bluetooth version 3 on here so it's nice and fast and you've got Wi-Fi to the new end standard. Because it's Google Android you're going to have uh, things like Google Maps, Google Marketplace and what have you. Weighs in at 124 grams and um, it feels a very solid device. You've got this metal back cover which is actually coated and it's soft to the touch. We've got some nice design features here. And uh, yeah, the metal chassis makes this feel a more premium uh, device than perhaps you'd expect considering its price point. So it's got 512 megabytes of RAM and it has got one gig of ROM, but then you've also got the uh, two gigabyte uh, card installed in there as well. So it's just booting up. So the device has now booted. We're just going to quickly run through the setup procedure. So we're now at the home screen. First time we've uh, booted this up and you can see that you've got a sort of familiar Android experience here with the customizable home screens. Now because this is Android 2.3.7 I'm not going to go into massive detail on the uh, software itself. There's plenty of videos that cover that and we've done other hands-ons with the Motorola Moto Lux showing the software in more detail. But you can see that Motorola have made some customizations to the uh, software with their Moto Switch sort of skin if you like. And one of them is this, the activity graph, which you can uh, set to either automatically or manually uh, be populated. We recommend automatic. But what it essentially does is it's an interactive widget um, which changes based on your application usage. So you can see that you've got uh, sort of the phone or contacts there in the middle. If you were using this device on a daily basis, the icons that you have here would change based on your usage. So if Facebook was your most used application, that would come to the top. And if you used uh, the radio least, it would go towards the, uh, to the back there. You have the same principle with your contacts and your social interactions. So if you have one contact that you call or text or email or tweet a lot to, um, they would appear right in the middle there and it would uh, decrease or would change based on um, your usage so one of your lesser contacted people would be there in the background. So you can see that you've got widgets that can be moved around on Android as you'd expect. So let's just go into the settings to just verify the device. So here we go, we've got the XT15, which is the Motorola Motolux, Android version 2.3.7. Let's just take a quick look at the languages. So these are some of the language options that we have on the device. So we've got the Russian languages there, Romanian, Portuguese, French, Spanish, it's all on there. In terms of input languages for the keyboard, that's again very similar um, there as well. Matches the uh, operating system language very closely. So if we now take a look at the camera, so it's got an 8 megapixel camera on the back of this device. So we can take a picture by pressing the button in the top right corner. We can zoom in and out if we choose. We've got uh, different 
settings in the menu here from different scene modes to flash modes to the ability to flip the camera to the front facing camera so we have that as well we then have the option to capture video and again we've got some more effects there we've also got some additional settings here in terms of the video quality so the highest resolution we can go to is the 800 by 480 WVGA resolution with this camera so not full HD or anything we can of course record video through the front facing camera as well so we've got the standard Motorola dialer there it's all very uh, standard you've got your messaging experience very similar to other Android devices or other Motorola devices if you've seen it. Quite a nice thing, this actually rotates as well at the home screens. So we're in portrait and landscape mode. So you can't scroll that way, but you can then scroll this way. It all renders quite nicely and you can still access your applications. We've got uh, Facebook installed as standard, we've got a radio, we've got Google Plus, we've got the maps with navigation, we've also got Quick Office and Twitter on there. Just going to show you quickly the web browser. So we're running over Wi Fi here, but of course you can connect via 3G if you chose so here we are on the Clove mobile site so that all renders ok we'll go to the full desktop experience as that's what most phones can handle nowadays and it gives you probably the best actual viewing experience as well so there we go we can scroll up the page we can double tap in and out rotates around quite quickly we can pinch and zoom so if I just go into a page that we've got some more text on so you can see it loads up and it auto fits the page but if I double tap in it's now going to zoom into the text and it's rendered the text so it's visible um, nice and easily on my screen I can zoom in a little bit more should I need to as well so that is a quick unboxing and hands-on with the Motorola Motolux available from clove.co.uk